that watch artwork by some of America's most notorious mass murderers. You're watching Louisiana's of some of the most notorious serial killers and mass murderers of our time. And as the controversy raises on over how to define it, others ask, why does the public seem to accept it? Some might call it the art of the damned. Kenneth Bianchi, the hillside strangler, Richard Ramirez, the night stalker, and David Berkowitz, the son of Sam. Their so-called artwork has drawn an interest. Some of it, some of it seems kind of sensitive, kind of nice. I like it. It's good stuff. Many find it disturbing that sensitive could be used in the same sentence with serial killer, but the owner of this collection says there is a market for this work. Crime is a reality. Uh, crime sells in the bookstores, crime sells in the movies, and, and it's all based on the reality of crime. I just don't care for the movies or the books. I prefer to see the real thing, I guess. At least 200 others have come to browse at the paintings, drawings, and sketches of the likes of Charles Manson and John Wayne Gacy. There's a perversity here, you know. Murder is perverse. A fascination with death, perhaps. A curiosity for the macabre. It's kind of amazing to think that the hands that painted this were, were around somebody's throat at some point. And I think people come in anticipating that they're going to see something really morbid or sick, and it, it's just not that way. Tobias Allen notes there are a variety of themes here, from clowns to children to devils. He deals in crime collectibles, deals directly with the murderers themselves. It's terrible, it's perverse that people actually can make money off other people's suffering like this. Some of the art was on sale. The dealers say they offered to donate 30% of their proceeds to the group Parents of Murdered Children, but the organization declined. The exhibit showed only today. Well, here's a look at some other stories making news. Rescuers have pulled a man alive from the rubble of a collapsed...